it is possible to turn data to action or to marketing action. And this is what I want to show you because I'm really sure you can use this your own field and you can turn your own data and all analysis to your own action. Replacing a lot of people work or a lot of people job. So he was correct that he was saying like, okay, this is not only bus driver going to leave, lose their the job. It is, it is true like, like nearly one third of the company has to look for another other job and this is why I'm going to show it. And, and put together, and uh, this, the data warehousing has been changed so much recently that like we are trying to be real time recently and we, we wanted to uh, use uh, the, so, so the high data quality is of course the element. I think we are more and more going to this direction. So this is the base. If you would like to have some kind of uh, CRM system, you would need some kind of data warehouse. And what you are planning to do if you have low churn profile and low value. So you have to have for all of the combinations some kind of strategy or tactics, what you want to do, and what kind of products you would like to give with them. And also, again, you can use it for refugees. Okay, what is the, what is your calculation for, for this or that kind of uh, people, how much money he will be going to generate in the next five years? And also, you can combine it, okay, what is the probability he is going pro forward to Germany? And this is not so new, I would say, like, in the last five years, a lot of companies are turning to automatizing their marketing process. So in a case we are not doing anything like what was presented before, we are just plugging in all of the data, real-time data, to, to the system. Okay, we need human still to understand what is, is, is really going on, how our customers are behaving or something like that. It is not true, no one cares. But they want just to learn. No one cares, no one wants to really understand. And I, I don't really believe like we are talking about tons of different content and the combination of the customer, so it's not really possible to understand. And then they, they want that information so that they can sell you stuff, right? So you should be thinking about all this, and you, the problem is, politically it seems to me, you have no control whatsoever. The, the website that I installed, the browser that I installed, is one called DuckDuckGo. And they don't track or you know, and all those little cookies on your machine, too. Look at your Google history sometimes. It's really quite interesting. If you have a car accident, and you mention it in an email to a friend, very soon thereafter, you're going to get advertisements for new cars and, and car repair and all kinds of things. Right? Think about what else you might say. Say you, uh, say a young woman, uh, sends an email to a good friend that says, I think I might be pregnant. This is how one father found out that his daughter was pregnant, actually. What they wind up doing is making something secret, right? For their own purposes. Oh, you know, I don't want that to come out, right? Um, and so it has nothing to do with the interests of the state or the society. It has to do with individual interests.